Wait, what? All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to. There we go. D and D Meridian Ball campaign. I'm wearing a red tie with a red shirt because I'm crazy like that today. Um, I will do as we always do and go down the list and let everybody introduce themselves. First off, we have Blanford. Hello, this is Paul Star. I'm playing Blanford. Nick Fable. Awesome. Um, next up we have uh, May. Um, Ezekiel, I play uh, May Glenn O'Dell, little little uh, young elf girl, and also now I have an apprentice named Rem. <clears throat> That's true. We'll deal with him soon. Uh, Moose. Or sorry, Fjorn, I should say. Uh, this is M. Burke slash Moose. I'm playing Fjorn the uh, Barbarian. Sweet. And lastly is Oris. Hello. Stop joking. I play Oris, the monk who gets hit a lot. Awesome. And you guys should be able to... Actually, did you successfully add wow. to uh, the campaign? In D &D uh, not quite. I'm still okay. right in the middle of it. I'll just so he yeah, won't be in the it. he won't be in the extension then on the side, but that's fine. We're not going to be really using him. Yeah, he's got three levels of exhaustion, so he'll probably hang back a little bit. Yeah, I think he'll just probably chill with uh, what's his face, the Black Fang, probably. Uh, okay, so to recap real quick, last episode you guys finally found where Rim was being kept. You had to enter the Shadowfell momentarily. My voice is very low. No. Uh, I did have to turn you up in the Discord for me. I'm not sure why. I think you guys might just be much louder than I am. I can I can lower you guys. Ha ha! <laughs> um, there, I turned you down. You're not that quiet. <clears throat> yeah, it's you it it? it's difficult to manage multiple uh, uh, multiple. Um, thingers. Frim's not. Frim's not. Doesn't have earrings. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. I can do this. Testing. One, two, three. Am I louder? You're quite loud. Same in Discord, so it's all good for me. Yeah. <sighs> I just increased the gains or whatever in the thing. Anywho, last time on Dragon Ball D and D, <laughs> uh, the party finally found Rim and had to enter the Shadowfell to find him. 
They rescued him after defeating a hag, and they, by the skin of their teeth, made it out before the rift had closed on them. Uh, they found a whole bunch of booty, a whole bunch of money, and uh, they continued their travel north, even though Rim is incredibly exhausted and is moving slowly. You guys are just kind of carrying him around and moving towards the town of El Wayne. On the way, uh, you were you rolled poor perception and you got attacked at one point, but that aside, you managed to find this temple here, which is mostly blacked out, mostly fog of ward for you guys, but that will slowly change as, as if you if you decide to explore it. Um, or I suppose you guys could continue on to the town or go back to the hovel or whatever you want to do. You are all hurt pretty bad, so I figure you guys probably are planning some kind of long rest soon. Um, but that's completely up to you guys how you want to do that. So, um, yeah, D and D out. I'm out, or DM out. I'll let you guys uh, decide what you want to do. I am down to take a rest. I I, I, I am too. Yeah. What time in the day that. is it? Is it is it practical to take a long rest at this point? I know we need we have the long the uh, exhaustion stacks on Graham as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So you guys are kind of at. It's it's kind of around. I would say noonish. Um, I'm trying to remember how it planned it, how the day worked. Because I feel like you guys took a long rest, then found the hovel, like in the morning. So then you saved yeah. Rim, and it would have been still early morning, and then you've traveled some of the day. So I want to say it's around noon. So if you take a long rest, it would be late, or you could do something and then take a long rest, and we can make it the next day if you want. Um, yeah, I don't is there anything you guys wanted to do? I mean, we could do uh, a short rest and explore maybe the entrance way. Yeah, to this I could do temple. that. But I have no. I think both their spellcasters are completely tapped. Or yep. almost. Um, is a short rest though. Could, will that help? It doesn't help I with them. No. Can get a Not little me. bag. Not me. I can get a little bit, but yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't get stuff back until. On a short, I'll hit anything back on a short rest until a while. Well, you get hit points back. <laughs> yes, I'm full. Yeah, fair enough. So you're saying the DM should just hurt you right now, is what you're saying. Well, that You look up into awesome. the sky, and a meteor comes... <laughs> as long as there's no more of those floaty oh. pumpkin things, jack... Well, I, I picture them as, like, like jack-o'-lanterns. The, the things that fought you last time? Yeah, that I would missed literally ten attacks in a yeah. row. On, they're, so. they're called Will o' the Wisps. Okay, so they kind will... of are ghostly little. Yeah, they're just like little blinking lights that will steal your soul. Um, yeah, I didn't I mean, think it would not... happen, but if one of you guys had gotten knocked out, they very quickly kill you. They will eat your eat your soul, but they'd have to have disabled one of you, and they're not that strong, so just they hard to hit. Disabled Oris is mental wellness to miss on so many attacks in a row. Yeah. It was just like just like flurry of blows. F -f -f -m 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 -miss. Just all those misses. Literally. Yeah. I literally had ten straight misses on four attacks. I mean uh, he had anyways, rel yeah, they I have mean, relatively like, high AC, but I mean I think you still had yeah, like a, was the trick. a reasonable chance to hit. Anywho but definitely. Um yeah you guys could how's Fjorn feeling? Oh, I'm still good on HP, but I think I've used up. I think I have one rage slot left. I don't know. I just feel like we should do a little bit and then do a short rest and, and then do a long rest. Maybe get more out of it. But if if Blanford and... Uh, well, we have to do a short rest and then a long rest later it doesn't really matter unless we have something to do in between the rests that's kind of what i figure short rest and maybe explore this entrance way here there's a couple of yeah we could do that i could looks like know, small I rooms i can cast a little bit we could do some basic searching and stuff and before we yeah let's let's do some basic exploration uh but not uh try to avoid intense combat or get too deep yeah. in yeah. yeah, that's fair. I agree with that. Yeah. So like, short like, short rest first, and short then... Short rest ahead, then. <clears throat> yeah. For anyone who's taken any damage, um... It, it, has anyone taken damage? 
All right. Oh, we We've officially uh, short rested. <laughs> hold on, hold yes. On. I'm gonna do song of rest. Oh. Song of rest. Take it out. out the, 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 the... Okay. I, I won't need it because I I rolled song of I rolled max and I'm back to full HP. Okay. So yeah, you guys um find a nice place, kind of a clearing area near the temple. Um, well, anyway, I do an additional D one d six. Anyway, because I, I said song of rest. Cool. Uh, I'm back at full, and I don't know about Fjorn if he benefits from that. Forgot. 14 hit points? That better made you have full health. I, I got me close. I don't I remember how many hit dice you guys are short, because you guys... I have I'm, one left. I'm out of hit dice now, so the long okay. rest will get two of them back, I guess. With an additional... With an additional 1d6? Fjorn? Yeah, you get an extra song of rest, 1d6, Fjorn. Would you like me to roll it? Uh, there you go. I'm sure that Jeez. that was enough. An 11 out of 12 and a 6 out of 6. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Nicely capped. Well, that was my good rolls for the day. I'm going to go hide. <laughs> we should just long rest now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, let's... So, now, uh, I think that thing to do is... Uh, to while it's daylight, throw take a a uh, I have a piece of I have a broken a piece of broken gem, and I'm going to cast light on one of the pieces of broken the smaller pieces of broken gem. Sure. And toss it into and toss it as far as I can into the uh, temple. See if, but if anything lights up. Okay, so the temple has two doors. Two oh, large God, doors God. here at the front. Um, opening as, the doors. as soon as you guys open, I'm gonna guess you guys open it before throwing oh, things nope. into it, because that's how nope, that's how nope. throwing things works. I thought they were. I thought it was open. I no, that's okay. No, it's okay. Door. So we open the doors, and there it's it's lit. There's oh. there's torches along the inside. So it's not dark in there. You guys will be able to see. The humans won't get screwed. Um, but it might make sense to keep that shard like in your pocket, ready to go. Um, okay. Potentially down down the road. Okay. That'll then I'm gonna go peek. There aren't like there are no obvious zombies or skeletons. No, you I'm guys like can see down this uh, this main thoroughfare here. Um, things are a little tight. You'll notice that like you're only getting two people shoulder to shoulder on the way up, and then you're gonna have to single file potentially into the left or right room, depending on how you want to do it. Um, yeah, but you guys can't actually see those corridors yet. You can only see down the main the main one, and you don't see anything. You do see, uh, I guess I can show you a little more of that, um, that this um, area here is blocked, blocked off. You see, like just rubble and broken, broken stuff, and just as high as the ceiling. And you would have probably have a, a pretty tough time trying to get through there if you wanted to like dig oh. or something. So it is. It's not open above. It's there's a ceiling in there, and it's all the way up. Yes. This is a temple, so like there is roof to it. And okay, uh, cool. Yep. I, I would say probably like twenty by twenty, like twenty feet up. For this twenty by my magical brick. That's pretty tall, actually. Make twenty feet. Yeah, I'll just I'll stick to twenty feet high. That's that's pretty high, but yeah, you can have twenty feet. It's just a tall. I'm just thinking of this like five by twenty <laughs> corridor would be so tall and then so thin. Ooh. But whatever. Oh, I like it. D D D like Dam it. already said it. It's canon. Okay, I'm on board with this. This feels very. Uh, this feels very. Odd. Okay, so I'm going to close that door again and step back. <laughs> okay. Because I, like, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> you, you guys aren't getting into melee, is what you're saying. <laughs> Correct. I mean, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming that as I walk away from Fjord, Fjord and he's not going to uh, take an attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to... Uh... uh Let's try to go into the bushes and, uh, uh, oh no, just 
Did we want to, like, keep the door open and, like, do some checks or something? That's what I was thinking. I'll just throw a thing in there. Well, he didn't, he didn't up, end up... Blah. He didn't throw the thing because it was already lit up. So... I think oh. we will, I will look around for uh, the animals. Okay. 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 Um... Last I'll give you a little bit bushes. more in that direction since you're going. You're kind of going that way. You can see a bit more over there. I'm going into the, the little bush here. That I see, okay. think that it is. I'm going to see if there are any cute animals, like rabbits or such. Sure. Like you're you're. Are you just looking for fun? Or are you actually planning to like both? Like, are you trying to catch a uh, rabbit? Because then we can do a roll for that. Yes, I'm trying to find a, ra a, a rabbit or an animal that I can uh, call Eat? animal friendship. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you're doing. Okay. Um. Yeah, roll me. I mean, let, let's say you can choose between survival and investigation. Uh, uh they're the same. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. It's not great. Okay. You found uh, you found oh, find oh. ten owl bears. See ya. <laughs> Just what he wanted. Thirteen. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. I'll tell you what you what animal you found. There's a whole there slew of animals. A natural one. And then it went um, wiggled and. And wiggle. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that you you actually made, while you were there while you were just kind of wandering around. Um, yeah, there's a about forty feet from you. You can see a deer grazing. Okay, that wasn't particularly what I was hoping for, but okay, that'll do. That's the page I turned to. So All you're right. A deer. Oh boy, that's not. <clears throat> I'm also gonna like assume some of this might have been done during the rest, maybe. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's all good. I'm going to. Uh... It's actually kind of back, gonna... back off the map. So if you're gonna go after this deer, it's. It'll I'm be to... running a temple run away. <laughs> Possibly. I'm going to walk. As close as I, uh, oh, I'm going to walk slowly towards it until it's within 30 feet of me, if I can, unless it darts away. And then okay. I'm going to use animal friendship. Okay, well, can you give me a stealth? Perfect. Stealth roll? Oh. Well, it, 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 it darts. Ooh, I. It notices you, yeah. It's gonna run. I'm sorry. I, I made the DC really low in my head, but you uh, rolled under that, so with a plus well, three too. Mm. Yeah, it, it notices you as you start to move that extra ten feet. That's just too much for it, and there's some crinkling and some crunching. It notices you, and it it dashes away. Um, but you're free to like do that some more if you want. But in the meantime, other people are gonna do other things. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping for like a uh, cute woodland animal, like a small thing, but okay. Okay. Sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, you can keep looking in the woods while the other three yeah. party members. Uh, it is notable. It, it happened in last session, but the Black Fang refuses to enter the temple, so he's going to stick stay back with with Rim, regardless of what the rest of you choose to do. Okay. So, has the, I guess has the Black Fang given a reason, or is he just not interested in exploring? Um, he mentioned if, if, he mentioned um, that he that this temple may have some connections to the Shadowfell, and he expressed his dis dislike for what? potentially he doesn't want to accidentally enter the Shadowfell. Is his because he you, he told you about his curse last week, right? Cool. Yeah. So oh, maybe works. fear, maybe proper precaution. Wait. Hard to say. Um. Uh, I mean, Oris will open the door, uh, see if Fjorn maybe wants to go in at the same time. Sure. They're heavy doors, but 
with given enough force and a little bit of time, you guys can easily get these doors open. So I'm gonna just say they're both wide open now. Well, they weren't locked. I thought. I thought. Uh, no. They were, okay. Didn't um, Blanford look before already? He did. Yeah. He opened okay. the door and then closed okay. it again. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> ran off to the bushes. And then he ran off to the bushes. Yes, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> Chasing deer. All right. I guess I'll step in. Uh, do we awesome. do we see anything in here that that might look like um, something that stands out along the walls or on the floor? Or? So okay, so as you enter the room or as you enter the temple, you see that it is um, it's it's uh, kind of run down, like it hasn't been manned in a while, um, but you can tell that it used to be relatively uh, like well built and um, I almost want to use the word lavish, but not because it's just stonework, but it is like, you know, nice stonework. Um, so there's like, there's like a half broken statue on the side. There's like a, you know, a, a bit of tapestry that's been torn. Um, you know, it's, it's aged poorly. Like the people who, whoever ran this temple has not, it's been dilapidating for some good amount of time, you would say. Uh, but you don't see any immediate sources of danger uh, down this hallway. But you did say that uh, it was already lit. Like the torches. Yeah, you guys are good. There's torches on the side that um, don't ask me why they're lit already. Magically I'm just gonna say they're lit already. I don't care. I don't care how. They're magically lit. Guys, that's a bunch of continual flames. That's super expensive, but yeah. <laughs> Let's grab all of them. <laughs> Do we know uh, yeah. what Open uh, open lanterns. We can stuff them in. If you guys try to take them, they will explode and do ten d ten to you. <laughs> but we don't know that. <laughs> no, but I will. I will say that. I will say that you do notice the torches, but because I already made the walls twenty feet up, they are up near the top, so you can't reach them without having to try some kind of climb. We have a monk. You could. You could. You guys definitely could try to. You know, screw me on this if you really want it. <laughs> I was just trying to make it simple so we didn't have to deal with the lighting, but I mean. <laughs> Boris is just good at burning through torches, so he doesn't care about torches at all. He's, they're just consumables to him. They're easy to come by, and he's not concerned. They don't have dark vision, so. Yeah. He's always had, he's never run out of torches or come close to it, so he doesn't hoard them or anything. I could have also said there's windows and the lights coming in for the daylight. I, I don't know. I chose torches. Don't know why. Big, big moon roofs and the stop breaking the immersion. And uh... yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Horace is gonna proceed in to the to the T. I guess he could see the openings to the left and right. Before yeah. The collapse. You the are aware of it from the outside of the temple as well. You know where to expect there to be uh, buildings. Okay. Is it just the two of you? Is May hanging back? Um, I guess I'll come in too. Yeah, I can't move my character. So. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> who who uh, created that? I think it was Blanford. I don't have control. I don't know how it even got there. I wasn't able to drag it out, and then I just saw there was my... I thought you must have put it out for me or something. I don't have the control <clears throat> either, so... Uh, how do I... <laughs> Controlled by... Determined by character settings. What? So I can't even give it to somebody else? I can delete it and just give you a new May. It's confusing. I don't know why I did that. Is the May character setting correct? That might have been the issue. Because he couldn't I drag mean, it onto the I screen. Can't, yeah, I can't even drag yeah. it from Whatever. May. It's fine now. You're, you're good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll come in too. <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna proceed to the T there area. Sure, yeah, you guys can totally um, go up to here, yeah, and look down and the two the hallways, floor. and I'll give you guys that. Um, so, let me cast the uh, detect magic. <clears throat> yeah, as a ritual or as a spell? Um, since we're gonna planning on taking a long rest, I'll just cast it really quick as a spell. Okay, detect magic. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, I'll let you see what you guys can see. Um, you can definitely see into this room now. You can see into this room. And 
you detect you do detect uh, some magic coming from both places. You detect magic coming off of some of the. So when you look to the left, you can see um, again it's a lit room, um, and there's like equipment. Um, there's like suits of armor. There's there's weapon racks.